Now the man knew his wife Eve, and she conceived and gave birth to Cain, and she said, I have gotten a man with the help of Yahweh. And again, she gave birth to his brother Abel. Abel was a keeper of flocks, but Cain was a cultivator of the ground. So it happened in the course of time that Cain brought an offering to Yahweh of the fruit of the ground. Abel, on his part, also brought of the firstborn of his flock and of their fat portions. And Yahweh had regard for Abel and for his offering, but for Cain and for his offering he had no regard. So Cain became very angry, and his countenance fell. Then Yahweh said to Cain, Why are you angry? And why has your countenance fallen? If you do well, will not your countenance be lifted up? And if you do not do well, sin is lying at the door, and its desire is for you, but you must rule over it. Then Cain spoke to Abel his brother, and it happened when they were in the field, that Cain rose up against Abel his brother and killed him. Then Yahweh said to Cain, Where is Abel your brother? And he said, I do not know. Am I my brother's keeper? And he said, What have you done? The voice of your brother's blood is crying out to me from the ground. And now, cursed are you from the ground, which has opened its mouth to receive your brother's blood from your hand. When you cultivate the ground, it will no longer yield its strength to you. You will be a vagrant and a wanderer on the earth. And Cain said to Yahweh, My punishment is too great to bear. Behold, you have driven me this day from the face of the ground, and from your face I will be hidden, and I will be a vagrant and a wanderer on the earth, and it will be that whoever finds me will kill me. So Yahweh said to him, Therefore whoever kills Cain, vengeance will be taken on him sevenfold. And Yahweh appointed a sign for Cain, so that no one who found him would strike him. Then Cain went out from the presence of Yahweh and settled in the land of Nod, east of Eden. Then Cain knew his wife, and she conceived and gave birth to Enoch, and he built a city and called the name of the city Enoch, after the name of his son. Now to Enoch was born Irad, and Irad was the father of Mehujael, and Mehujael was the father of Methushael, and Methushael was the father of Lamech. And Lamech took for himself two wives, the name of the one was Ada, and the name of the other, Zillah. And Ada gave birth to Jabal, he was the father of those who live in tents and have livestock. And his brother's name was Jubal, he was the father of all those who play the lyre and pipe. As for Zillah, she also gave birth to Tubal Cain, the forger of all implements of bronze and iron, and the sister of Tubal Cain was Naamah. And Lamech said to his wives, Ada and Zillah, hear my voice, you wives of Lamech, give ear to my word, for I have killed a man for striking me, and a boy for wounding me, if Cain is avenged sevenfold, then Lamech seventy-sevenfold. Then Adam knew his wife again, and she gave birth to a son and named him Seth, for she said, God has set for me another seed in place of Abel, for Cain killed him. And to Seth, to him also, a son was born, and he called his name Enosh. Then men began to call upon the name of Yahweh. 